Portuguese on the link up to on the lead up to Easter. Obviously, people have been around here having their fun. They're just leaving all the mess behind. A lot of this is just smashed eggs out around the island. And some of the birds and what have you will have to take some of it. But one of the things they have been doing um, is painting the eggs and decorating them as the children do and coming up here to communally smash them all up. As you can see. are interested in but uh, it's not just this litter there is other litter around and thankfully tonight today sorry um, some of that litter is quite well contained it's put where litter should be um, there you go a lovely blue egg remains of one I wonder what bird or whatever's going to end up ingesting that we shall see okay well welcome back um, Still down in Bolton's Bench, down in Lindhurst here on a rather nice, nice sunny bank holiday weekend. Um, so you hear all these um, noise in the background. I can't help that. I have no control. This is all live and um, all being recorded live anyway. It's not live when you watch it. It's all being recorded live. It is what it is. Just rough and ready. But um, another New Forest applicable story, and this one is the New Forest Friends and the Litter Books by. Simon Chadwick again. Um, again, as I said on an earlier one, if you've watched that one, is Simon Chadwick is a local guy. He's written some really good books about how to behave in the forest. Um, a lot of it's just common sense. You don't need to think too hard to do all this lot, but um, sadly, people don't. People don't follow it. But here we go. The New Forest Friends and the Litter Bugs. Again, um, the National Treasure that is Chris Packham has done a little in intro to this one. And the New Forest is a very special place, a large area, a large area of undeveloped land and that has all sorts of habitats, woodland, heathland, grassland, marshland, ponds, rivers and streams. It's also a brilliant place for wildlife. Situated on the south coast of Britain, it has some rare species of both plants and animals which you won't find anywhere else outside mainland Europe got great marsh grasshoppers, small red damselflies, smooth snakes, sand lizards, wild gladioli and marsh gentians and two of his favourite birds which are night jars and hobbies. And all of these are exotic and rare species but a lot of everyday animals rely on the new forest as a home and it is these which can really suffer if you drop litter. Walking through the forest nothing looks nastier than a soft drinks can or a bright orange crisp packet discarded on the path side. It completely spoils the natural beauty of the area and it wrecks the view. That's the human centric point of view. Um, but it also has a much more sinister effect because litter is a killer. Mice, shrews, lizards, all kinds of deer, ponies and cattle are all harmed by different sorts of rubbish. And when you visit the forest, put your litter in the bins provided or take it home. Don't ruin one of Britain's most important wildlife sites and do not let litter be a killer. So here we're going to go, News for His Friends and the Litter Books by Simon Chadwick. Bewley woke up on a warm summer's day. He yawned and he stretched on the bed where he lay, then into the kitchen that was bright and sunny, to breakfast on porridge with hot toast and honey. Now, what shall I do on such a fine day, he said to himself as he munched away. I always go out as a regular habit, and today I shall visit Exbury. The rabbit. And there you've got, you've got tucked up in bed, just about to wake up. So he finished his breakfast and he left not a crumb, then set off to visit his favourite chum. But as he stepped out of his holly tree home, he was met with a sight that caused him to moan. For there, right before him, strewn all around, was litter and rubbish all over the ground. There were wrappings and boxes and bottles and tins. Oh dear, said Bewley, what are all these things? And there he is, look, he's come out of his tree, the always tree top house, and he's just surrounded by litter. Not good. In his eyes there were tears, in his throat a big lump, and as he walked through the forest that now was a dump, 
to Exbury's house was his plan for the day, so taking great care, he now made his way. Now, when Exbury the rabbit opened his door, he saw his poor friend who cried out in yore. It's litter bugs, said Exbury, they are the cause. We must act right away, there is no time to pause. So Bewley and Exbury, to learn, sent out the word to all forest folk so they could be heard, and all of the creatures that lived in the wood came to the meeting as fast as they could. They gathered and heard a sad tale of distress, and wondered what thing could have caused such a mess. It's litterbugs, said Exbury, it's litterbugs I'm sure, that have dropped all this rubbish on our forest floor. And there they are in the meeting, all of the animals all together. Litterbugs, litterbugs, pray what are they? Asked all of the creatures in words of dismay. Has anyone seen one? Do they come out at night? But no one there gathered has seen such a sight. Then Hatchet the squirrel said, listen to fact. If they're bugs, then they're insects and big ones at that. The forest folk gasped as the vision grew clear of a gigantic litterbug and it filled them with fear. That's what they were thinking it looked like. Brockenhurst the badger then lifted his paw, a cut from a can had made it quite sore. Then Emery the wood mouse came forward to speak, had been trapped in a bottle for nearly a week. It's clear then, said Bewley, that rubbish is bad, and it causes great danger, which makes me quite mad. This little bug insect I really must find, and I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. And there you can see the badger with his broken paw and the little mouse stuck in the bottle. Then I shall come also, said Hour the Owl, and Burley the Fox, he agreed with a growl. Hang on, said Brockenhurst, you're not leaving me. And I shall come too then, said Brave Exbury. And so the hero set off with a leap and a bound, and soon found much litter strewn over the ground. And there in the clearing the litterbugs played, with packets of crisps and fizzy lemonade. Now that's remind you of anybody yet? As the litterbugs littered without any care, the smallest one threw a ball in the air. They don't look like insects, Exbury confessed. Agreed, said Bewley. They are a great pest. And they, then they all watched as a throw of the ball crashed straight through the hedge, and it frightened them all. There was no time to run, and there was nowhere to hide. The ball-hunting litterbug was right by their side. And there, you might have an idea of who the litterbugs are. Your litterbug rubbish is a terrible sight, shouted Bueller the Hedgehog with all of his might. Well, I'm really sorry, the litterbug said, shocked by the words, his cheeks blushing red. But I'm no litterbug, I'm a person called John. We'll clean up this mess and it won't take us long. And the animals watched as the people began to clear every wrapper, crisp packet and can. With all of the litter now in a big sack, brave Bewley cried out, Our clean forest is back. John came to the hedge and the animals cheered. This litterbug wasn't as bad as they'd feared. John said, now I must go, but in future I'll try to keep your home tidy. And they all waved goodbye. Said Bewley the hedgehog, I'm glad that this has passed. But of people and litterbugs, we've not seen the last. And there, that's the final ending picture. And sadly, as Bewley the Hedgehog has said, you've not seen the end of it. It continues and continues and there's absolutely no need. Um, you'll see people do it. If you do, if you feel up to it, to say or you've left something behind and politely point it out to them, point to the bins where they are, point to the bags which they carried there anyway, containing all this rubbish. Um, and they could put it back in that bag and take it all home again. It's, hard, it's not hard. And if you do leave anything, if you leave anything, as we saw in that earlier piece of film, with the eggs, it's Easter, people paint eggs and they roll them down the hills and it's all fun for the children. If you've painted those eggs and things, think about those paints, what are you ingesting? Would you let your child eat a painted egg? All the paint bits, who knows what's in them? You wouldn't do. So why are you gonna leave it for the animals? Just have a think, it's not hard. And uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the story. If you have, you can subscribe to my channel, you can listen to it time and time again. 
or even better, you can do Simon Chadwick a favour, you can go and buy his books. And hopefully, if you are listening, Simon, it might encourage you to write more. Anyway, um, but do, it's available on all the usual outlets. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe it'll give you something to think about. Either way, have a good time. Cheers, bye.